What is up, guys? My name's The Simeon. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Okay, today's video is going to be a little bit of a short one. We are going to be talking about Behind the Sims Summit and as well as the Plum Bob Tree app unfortunately shutting down now with that all being said i wasn't going to actually do a video based on the behind the sim summit and was going to wait till it actually released which is tomorrow but again here i am a lot of you guys wanted to know my opinions so we are going to get into it also my fiance has seen the comments and he will be doing a video with me soon i also have a lot of gameplay videos coming up soon to this channel and if you guys have any fun challenges or ideas you want me to do please list them down below in the comments with that all being said we are going to dive into the very first topic and that is of course the behind the sim summit now the sims actually took to twitter to say it's time for another episode of behind the sims be sure to tune in on september 12th which is tomorrow as we share exciting updates across everything and not only that but they're going to get into the new roadmap the sims mobile sims free play and project renee and with over 60 plus dlcs many simmers are wondering how many packs are going to be left of the sims 4 franchise again there are still a lot of ideas that could be thrown into the dlcs and we have officially finished up all the roadmaps we have the expansion pack horse brand we have the two bold kits which just came out and we also received the behind the sim summit now my speculation with this whole thing is the fact that we did get a new ea executive who could be taking on what's going to be popping up next with a, as far as the sims 4 especially with a new roadmap coming soon this fall with that all being said rachel rubin actually took over and said today marks the beginning of a new exciting chapter in my career at ea arts and i take on the role as head of the new lifestyle group in ea also goes on to mention that it would be a full circle moment working at Max's Studios, who's also partnered with The Sims 4. The lifestyle category in gaming has been remarkable growth in the last several years, and I look forward to partnering with these talented studios. Now again with her already previously working on The Sims 4, I'm very curious to see will this just be a repeat of what's going to happen but we'll wait and see. I feel like the Behind The Sims Summit will actually tell us a little bit more detail on exactly what we should be expecting soon and of course will they be mentioning this in the next Sims Summit. I also want to mention the rebrand that The Sims actually said that they were going to have especially with bringing on more collaborations especially when it comes down to products and everything in general with the new Sims game actually being now public for everyone to download it is free it's completely free so it's continuously always bringing in more new customers they did say that they're going to see how much things they can actually express with the sims and instead of doing url bring it to irl such as apparel accessories collaborations collectibles games and publishing i wonder what that all means and maybe they'll talk about it more behind the sims but again this is something to keep in the back of the mind when behind the sims summit is actually taking place i also want to mention don't forget that we did did have a new intern coming on and this made a pretty big deal because again at first they did say on under the interns responsibilities was that they're considering seven different play styles conductor user research and build wireframes and also mentioned manage world screens now with that being said after everybody got a hold of exactly the interns responsibilities it actually ended up changing because of how many people were talking about it and instead of seven different play styles and managing world experiences it actually got scored scraped off of it and many people were wondering did this have to do at the fact that many people have speculated we didn't know if the intern deserved that much responsibility now again this is very all speculation no one knows for sure why it was removed or if it was removed or if they possibly gave it to someone else maybe another intern per se but again i'd be curious to know your opinions down below in the comments now with the previous behind the sim summit i do hope that they don't end up mentioning or talking about a pack that supposedly already happened for the first 10 minutes again the behind the sim summit is only going to be 15 minutes long and with the other one they spent over 10 to 12 minutes talking about the horse ranch expansion pack again many people were like okay we get it we see the horses what's next what's new there was so many things that they could have added into the behind the sim summit and more questions that people had such as certain things being added into the game but they chose to spend more time on the ep now again the ep did have unfortunately a lot of back clash not only with the bugs and glitches but unfortunately many people were actually missing their packs couldn't install the horse ranch expansion pack and people didn't get the pre-order now a lot of people did comment under this specific post that when the sims team announced that they were doing a behind the sims summit for tomorrow and many people were talking about console problems and when are they going to mention that other people speculated will we be getting fairies cars musician bands hotels and some people even think 
possibly preteens could be on the horizon. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions because the sim gurus have not stated anything. I also think this is why they also have been very, very quiet towards all speculations on exactly what's going on. Only because, again, when something is about to happen in the sims and when they're about to release a pack, they always go quiet. I've noticed a little pattern over the past couple of months. And I'd be curious to see what you think about Magnetic's actual post, who's an EA principal designer on The Sims 4. And this is what exactly it looks like on the top of the Twitter banner. I would love to know your opinions down below in the comments. But with that all being said, we are going to dive deep into the very next topic. And that is going to be about the Plum Bob fruit tree. That's such a tongue twister for me. But again, we are going to take a look on exactly why it's actually shutting down. So the Plum Tree, we're shutting down. And the Plum Tree first launched back in August 2016, which means it's been running for over seven years. In that time, its popularity has grown far beyond its expectations, and it had a genuinely heartwarming amount of love from our users. However, it's with a head of sadness I'm announcing the upcoming shutdown of the Plum Tree for reasons explained below. The Plum Tree will not shut down immediately. Instead, we'll be going through a period of sunset to give users some time to make backups of their trees. Downloading trees is a recent feature addition so go to any tree you want, hit download zip file containing your tree's data, images, and HTML file to view the tree and actually explained why they're shutting down. There's a few reasons, but the primary one is cost. Another reason is time. And over the years of my life, other commitments have left time for me to work on the plum tree. I've kept the site running and made optimized to reduce costs and tried to keep things up to date. Again, does go and say thank you. It's been a fantastic ride from those who have donated through the years. I did want to mention that a lot of people did talk about this over on Twitter. And if you hashtag plum tree, fruit um, i always mess it up oh my gosh i do not know why i always mess this up but the plum tree app this is exactly what it looks like and if you guys take a look of course i don't know i've never personally used this but if you have the yellow llama actually has a really good alternative and i will actually link the twitter page down below so you can take a look at that but this is also something of what it looks like and it looks very similar to what you've already previously seen with the plum tree with the Oh my goodness, guys, I do not know why it's such a tongue twister for me, but you guys know what I mean. Anyway, of course, everything will be linked down below, but I did want to get into the very last topic, which is going to be talking about what exactly we can expect as far as bugs and glitches being fixed. Thanks to the Henford Hen who actually took to Twitter saying, don't expect the non-dyed version of Dual Lupa hair that came as an XTX drop to be available for children's sims anytime soon. Now, with that being said, EA Cade actually took to the EA Answers HQ saying, unfortunately not. The team wants to put these hairs out there but other more critical areas are bumping this to the backlog until it allows now we do know that the sim gurus have been under ridicule about what's going on as far as bugs and glitches in the game and that include when heavenly sims actually took to twitter to announce the keepsake box that was one of the main things that the sims 4 team actually had backlashed with when it came down to growing together now, with the keepsake box, every single time you took a picture and put it in your inventory, it showed up as black and you would be unable to use it. Now, Iron Seagull actually did take the Twitter to talk to Magnetic, who is a principal designer over on The Sims 4, and he actually responded saying, that's been all fixed up, but to, we're going to hold back the release date on it for when the fix goes live. I know the date, but I can't say yet for many reasons. Personally, for me, I think he was kind of stalling, but he did go on to say, hey, just wanted to shoot an update. Unfortunately, this fix has been deferred and won't go out with Horse Ranch. The fix is still coming, but for risk, it has to be pushed out again. Sorry, y'all. Now, again, this is back in June. We are now about to be September, late September, and then there's going to be October. Exactly when do they plan on pushing out all of these fixes when it comes down to the game? I feel like this is why a lot of people have mixed emotions when it comes down to The Sims 4 and if it's worth playing. Many people feel that they cannot play the game without something consistently happening, and I don't blame them for thinking this way. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions with that, but again, I do think The Sims 4 is in a damn if they do, damn if they don't situation. I say this in all my videos because I truly do feel like they put themselves in the situations by speaking on things and then pushing the dates back. They always end up doing this. They speak about something, they say they're going to do it, and then go, oops, sorry, it's actually going to be pushed back, or oops, sorry, we don't really know when, or oops, sorry. So why mention it or do it in the first place if you know you're not going to 110% be sure that it's going to be released? Would love to know your thoughts and opinions on all of that and exactly what's going on with the Behind the Sims Summit and your speculations on that. Again, guys, I always say keep your expectations low because then you will not be disappointed. 
Again, would love to know your opinions. And of course, I also want to mention that yes, we I am going to be having a lot more gameplay coming soon to this channel. I've been recording a lot, so I'm very excited for you guys to all to see that. But with that all being said, we are officially on the road to 30K can't thank you guys enough with that all being said again whether you comment on my videos like my videos which truly does help out my channel or you're a silent viewer or you share my videos in some shape way or form you still support my channel and for that i thank you i will see you guys all in the next video bye